We're back with James, Randy, and Rosemary Altia. Sean's mom and dad, uh, Pam and Craig Akers, who appeared on this show, talked with CNN's Anderson Cooper earlier this month about Sylvia Brown. Watch. Is it true she also offered to help for $700? Um, yes, we were told that if we wanted to talk with her additionally, that, that we could at her uh, normal standard fee. And that's $700 an hour? I believe that's what it was. Now, Sylvia Brown's uh, business manager uh, sent us the following. Sylvia has never charged a fee to any law enforcement person, agency, or any individual for her work on a missing persons case and has worked on hundreds of such cases over the years and only when asked by law enforcement with positive results. Sylvia is overwhelmed with happiness and gratitude to God that Sean was found alive and well and grateful to all those responsible for finding him. Sylvia has also posted a message on her website, if you want to go to that, sylvia.org, about this matter. James, who do you believe on this question of a fee? I don't know. It's pretty hard to say because Sylvia does get $700 over the telephone. She gets this kind of money to do a reading for people that lasts about 20 minutes. I've got several of them on tape, and one of them went up on my website today, as a matter of fact. Now, that's a lot of money, Larry. That, that's the kind of money that anyone would want to make. But does she pr produce anything for it? Does she deliver anything? Remember, she agreed on this show many years ago to take the million dollar challenge. Then she said she couldn't find me. She doesn't know how to use a telephone book. What seems to be the problem here? Then after that, she, when she found out how she could reach me, she didn't reach me and she hasn't been in touch with me since. Now, Why? Rosemary, explain to me something about psychics. When Sylvia said that she saw the boy was gone, right. tell me what she sees. Does she see a grave? Does she see a body? When a psychic says something like, He's gone. What, what is she seeing? Well, I'm going, I'm going to tell you that I can't tell you what Sylvia Brown sees. What do you um, see? What I see, the first thing that I do is I make a communication. I make a connection with someone in the spirit world. That someone needs to be a member, uh, a family member of the person I'm giving a consultation to. Then... Once I begin to talk to that person, I'm asking that person to give me information, to give me evidence. I mean, I'm seeing this person and I'm hearing this person and I'm asking them, please give me information. Usually it's information that I couldn't possibly know. I'll, so, give, you, I'll give you the briefest example. A lady yesterday called and I described her home that was on a man-made lake. I described the house in detail, even to the roof line, the new terrace, and plantings. Now, and who, who was telling you that? Who was telling me that? Um, her mother was telling me that. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm laying the groundwork. I'm laying the groundwork to show this person, the person I'm giving the consultation to, I'm laying the groundwork to show her that I am actually really talking to someone in the spirit world who knows them very, very well. Can I just say one more thing, Larry? Quickly, yeah. I don't know uh, whether Sylvia Brown has a 15 or 20 minute consult, but I'm going to tell you that no one in their right mind, no medium, would ever give a 15 to 20 minute consultation and expect to, to, to produce anything. You cannot, you, you can do a two minute something on the telephone as I've done on your show many times. But when you're giving a consultation and you're talking to people in the spirit world, you have to give that person right. at least 50 yeah. minutes to an hour. That's you can't right. James, do it in less right. than that. James, is that all hogwash to you? Yes, it's capital hogwash with a capital H, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll get a break, and we'll be coming right back with James, Randy, and Rosemary Alte. I know James a long time. I knew him when he was just the amazing Randy. Speaking of amazing, the amazing John King is sitting in tonight for Anderson Cooper. He will host AC360 out of Washington. John, what's up? That's great stuff there, Larry. You know, I'd settle for the Powerball number myself. Tonight on the program, a story that frankly left a lot of us scratching our heads in amazement. A teenager, a minor, serving a 10-year prison sentence for a crime that even lawmakers and prosecutors say shouldn't be a crime. Branded a sex offender for life for something some teens do every weekend. And here's the kicker. If he and his underage companion did what a lot of parents might consider a whole lot worse, 
the law would have let him off nearly scot-free. We're on that story, keeping them honest. We'll also look into the growing war of words and more between the United States and Iran. Plus, one couple struggle with a mountain lion. Animal expert Jeff Corwin here to tell us what you need to know if you could, so you could survive just such an encounter. All that and more, Larry, tonight on 360. Wow, that's, that first story sounds amazing. It's big stuff. Yeah. John King at the top of the hour, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. Back with more on the psychic storm of controversy in a minute. As we go to break, more of Sylvia from an appearance here on Larry King Live discussing her self-described psychic abilities. Do you like your power? Sometimes, Larry. Sometimes it's hard. Are there days you don't have it? No. You always have it? Always have it. When you miss, when you see something and the caller says, that's not, I don't know what you're talking about. Because I'm not God. I'd be scared to death, Larry, if I was right all the time. Wouldn't that be scary? It would be frightening if I was right all the time.